Hello, welcome. My name is Lisa. So I've got the crock pot out. We're gonna make something I've never made before. We're gonna make French dip sandwiches. I've got a shoulder roast. It calls for a beef rump roast. I'm gonna use what I have. And I need one cup of soy sauce, one package of onion soup mix, and a water. So let's get this in the crock pot. So we're gonna make French dip sandwiches. So I'm gonna spray down my crock pot really good. So we're gonna put our roast in. Carissa's not sure about this because we gotta use a cup of soy sauce. So I'm gonna pour my soy sauce over. <laughs> and we've got a package of Lipton onion soup mix here. I'm gonna get this in there. How long does it have to cook for? It has to cook for 10 to 12 hours, Carissa. Wow, that's mm -hmm. a long time. It is a long time. So, come look, baby. So we're gonna put water in here, enough to cover the roast. There you go. I need just a little bit more. So, it's gonna be like a steak sandwich, Carissa. We're gonna put cheese on it. Ooh. And a nice roll. So, let me get my lid on here. And we're gonna cook it on low for 10, 10 hours. 12 hours. Well, 10 to 12, but I'm gonna do 10, I do believe. Probably do 11 because it's in between. You wanna do 11? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, 10.30, 10.30, 10.30. Oh, hold on, let me back up. 10.30? Yeah. All right, Mouse is excited. <laughs> hey, so Mouse. we'll see you back in about 10 hours. <laughs> and we'll let you know how it turns out. Right, Carissa? Yep. Simple, easy recipe. I've never made this before. I'm excited. Bye. Bye. Look at there, y'all. The house smells amazing. It's been cooking for like nine hours. Go ahead and shred it, Papa. Let's see how, how it is. Is it falling apart? Oh, yeah. Look at there. Mm. Nice. Wow, just simple and easy. I've never done this in the crock pot. So I've got some sub rolls and some cheese. I'm gonna get it in the oven, melt it a little bit, and we'll show you the end results. Look at there. Mm, that's about, that's about done. <laughs> oh, it's done. It's been cooking a long yeah, time. That's for shredding. Oh, yeah. yeah, that was easy. It didn't take long. Yeah. So let me get the provolone cheese out of the refrigerator. That was easy. So I've got the sub rolls all fixed. Donnie's gonna put some meat on those sandwiches and get them in the oven, melt that cheese a little bit. Look at there, oh my goodness. And it was just so simple, just a few simple ingredients. So let's get these in the oven. I'll show you what they look like when we get them out of the oven. Donnie's gonna put a piece of cheese on top of there. Gonna be delicious. So they're going in the oven. Gonna get that cheese nice and melted. So they're out of the oven. Nice. Fries are all done. Carissa, what you think? Looks good. So you'll have to let me know what it tastes like. And if you like it, she wasn't sure when we started the recipe, were you, baby? Yeah. But the house smells wonderful, don't it? Yeah. So we'll see you back in a little bit. This is what we're having for dinner. 
So, Carissa, what did you think about dinner last night? Um, it was good. I just didn't like the sesame seed bread because I don't really eat sesame seeds. Okay. Only my bread, my bread. And the the thing that I liked about it was the steak and cheese. The steak and cheese, you like that? It was that? just good plain. Oh, good. So, should we make it again? Yeah. Yeah. Thumbs up? All right. You heard it here. It was delicious. Yes. And we had potato wedges with it. Those pickle. Good. Yes. Good dinner last night, wasn't it, baby? Yeah. So we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.